I make my triumphant return to 101 things to do in Minecraft. There's so much left to do, so let's get into exploring, building, and crafting. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. So I've been working on some of the hotness around here in the time that I last saw you in my Minecraft world. More importantly, Steve is in Super Smash Brothers. Ooh! I knew it for years. Not that I knew information, but I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. So I'm gonna talk about that while I build the barn, the new barn, the new area in which the horses shall exist. Here is what I am doing so far. This is what the house looks like right here. I'm gonna give you a inside look at the house as well as finish up what will be the barn area over here. Uh, I decided to do a little bit off camera just to like get a vibe for what I wanted to go for and think clearly instead of trying to commentate what I'm doing along the way and not thinking cohesively. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. Hello. So uh, here's the house as it is right now. I really didn't like the fact that it was all cobblestone everywhere. So I added some vines that way it made it pop a little bit more. And something I'll probably do eventually is swap out a lot of the cobblestone bits with like the uh, mossy cobblestone. Which mossy cobblestone you can make, I, I'll show you how to make it. You basically uh, combine vines with cobblestone. So everything I'm using here is still within the means of me to actually process and acquire, not just a bunch of random stuff. So over here, this is where the barn is going to be. So that way I can access all of the horses and the donkeys that are going to be over here uh, right via my house and I can ride them through here if I really wanted to. The ceiling height will allow for that and so will the exit that's going to be over toward that way. So if I head back over toward here, I will show you the downstairs before I go upstairs and show you what's going on. So this is a look at the downstairs again. This is relatively unchanged, I think, from where it was last time. Uh, in the backyard, I decided to add some glowstone that way it can be a little bit more illuminated on top of all the torches here. And I expanded this area a little bit more. So there's a little more water there. Now the thing that's really interesting about the outside here is a new technique that I didn't do before. But I think adds a little bit more detail and a little bit more pizzazz to the entire thing. Is adding uh, these things here. These are stone brick walls. And so the way that the brick walls behave is if I attach them like this. It kind of looks like a more reinforced column rather than just having, you know, the uh, the stone, cobblestone uh, pillars there. So it looks like it's really holding up the structure. What I had done in the previous uh, iteration of this world testing things out was I filled this all in with grass and it was just a massive pain. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I think like if you think of a practical structure, having these beams holding up the structure would make sense and it looks good. So that's why I decided to go with that. So now if I take a look at the, uh, I'll go through the main entrance here and look at the top floor. The top floor has seen the most change, I guess, up toward here, there's uh, all this. So uh, I ended up taking the cobblestone off the very uh, roof area, or the ceiling rather. That way you can see the wood and definitely breaks it up from the wood, or uh, rather cobblestone walls. And so over here is gonna be a map. now. Where that green thing is right there is exactly where we are right now. The coordinates of the other places, like the nether base, uh, the home base here, are right there. As they were, you know, down in the basement. And now, eventually, I'm going to fill in this whole map. I basically want to get to a point where I do a 5x5. Five five. And I know in a previous Minecraft series I did years ago, I actually showed you the process of doing that. And it's super boring. So, what I'm going to do... It's just when I have literally nothing I, I have to do and just am bored, I'm going to do that and fill it all in. If, if I find anything interesting, I'll mark it on the map, I guess, and I'll show you. But, like, I don't know. I'm going to fill this in eventually. This is all I have as of right now. And, yeah. So that's where the house is right there in relation to everything else. This is where the um, nether portal that we first found is right over toward this way. Uh, everything else is uh, not filled in. So awesome. I decided to add some blue right there to designate that this is going to be the bedroom area. And so I have some paintings over here just because. And these are all these special items. So the Brucey Boots, Gloucester's Glory, 
the uh, netherite pickaxe and all that that is all located right here so uh i wanted to put a furnace up here no not a furnace a um uh, a piece of lava that way i can toss things into the uh, into the lava to destroy them turns out i could literally just do that with this toss that into there into the fire it's gone so i don't need to put lava up here and potentially risk there being a lava breakout and it's all bad so over here, instead of having ladders, I decided to add these uh, shoots of bamboo. I forget what these are called. These are called scaffolding. I always forget that. So that way, when I'm flying out with the Elytra over toward here, I can literally just sink right back down. Don't need to pay attention to any ladders, and boom, walk right across, and that's it. So it works out a little bit better. looks a little bit better to me, and uh, it just it works, you know? So I decided to go with that. So that's everything that I have uh, updated, pretty much. Um, the basement is still the same, other than me taking, you know, the valuable items and tossing them up toward the very front. There's the roof I edited a little bit here. There's a little bit more detailing, uh, some more vines that are located everywhere. But other than that, it's pretty, uh, pretty basic, you know. Nothing too crazy. I may change this, add more detail eventually, but for now, it's fine. So the idea over here getting to this is uh to add a barn area for the various uh horses that are going to be located over here and so this whole section is going to exist and it's going to be a, a section where i can have basically all of the animals that are on on four legs that are rideable so uh llama eventually would go in here because i don't have any llama still uh donkeys and whoever else wants to be in here and exist in here that would be it and so kind of like what I did before with the barn there was technically a section where uh, they could exist outside as well that will be the exact same way over toward here so this section over here is gonna be the portion where uh, they can be outside now I'm automatically witnessing an issue where uh, it's off by one it should be one lower so I don't know um, where I made that mistake um, I guess it was in the leveling of the entire area. Technically, this should all be one higher, which I guess is okay. Um, I, I'm probably gonna just adjust one of the, uh, like one of these sections over here. So like, you'll have to walk up to the barn by one, which is fine. It's not gonna be super seamless, but I guess, you know, for the sake of keeping things a, a little bit more variety, uh, it works out just fine. So I'm gonna work on that kind of go into autopilot mode here uh, if I think of you know this is how it's gonna be and then if this is ground level over here I really don't like this I, I it's gonna bother me I think I think it's really gonna bother me unless I put um, grass over toward here right let's say I filled in grass over toward this way and I had you know that there I need stairs these stairs would go right here right and this would exist well okay so the side the the outside would be, still be stone even though i don't really like the stone the cut like the cobblestone what's the difference between the cobblestone and the stone cobbles there's barely any difference whatever so if i grab this right this would be where the barn ends right over toward here so let me grab these right here. I'm gonna do this, that way it works out. So there might need to be a situation where I fill in some of the land here or something, because this should technically be the outside of the barn, right? Technically? I don't know, I kind of messed that up. Whoops, my bad. So all this is over toward here, right? This is ground level. So then the area in which the horses and whatever else are gonna exist is gonna be out toward this way. I'm gonna adjust these fences accordingly so that way they have an area to be other than just inside the barn because that would not be fun if it were just in this barn area right so just to give the uh the horses a bit more of a homey feel over here i'm going to extend this all the way out toward this way kind of go back toward here uh, add a little bit of terrain just for the sake of it here and head back over here and nope not going to do that one We'll do like this. Yeah, something something like this. How's that for an area? Actually, no, because horses, when you have a horse in a in a field, it's typically a um a very open area, right? So I don't think uh th that works. 
Okay, so instead of me commentating that section right there, I just wanted to think for like 30 seconds and just be like, all right, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Because as much as I f like do well when I talk and like, you know, do stuff, I, I do even better when I'm not constantly talking and trying to figure out what I need to do. So this is what I came up with here. So it's a bit more of an open area. There's not trees. I mean, there's going to be an area for, like, you know, weeds and whatever, but it's not going to be trees because, you, yeah, the horses do not have trees as, like, an open area, like, section where they can gallop around and whatever, right? So, not going to bother with that. This is going to go here. That's going to go here. Um, I guess this type of wood would be fine here because this is going to be the wall right here, and they're going to be able to go out like this. So, bam. If you're looking from the outside, you can go and observe the horses right here. If you're on the inside, you can access the horses and bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Um, cool. I was waiting on my friends because, like, I'm supposed to hang out with people later, but also, low-key, really want to play Minecraft. So I don't know where I, you know, way out on that quite yet, but whatever. So, <laughs> I'll uh, finish up this here. So I'm thinking this obviously isn't all going to be this uh, material here, right? I kind of just filled this in because it felt like the thing to do, but there is going to be quite a discrepancy between, um, you know, that area texture as opposed to what I'm actually going to do. So let's say I do this over here real quick. Bam, go into here. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. So I'm thinking the area for all of the horses, all of the whatever, are going to be like this, right? It's gonna be all the way down toward this way and then cut off right there. So that way, when you enter in, maybe maybe it'll go like this instead, have like an angle sort of a deal, right? Uh, but, but part of me also wants to be able to enter and exit like, no, I think this is fine. So let's say I did this right here, right? Like I wanna be able to get in and out really easily, super duper easily. And I think this section here would be fine. So, like, there's a four area here where I can, like, access and just enter in and it's all good, right? So, that, sh that should be fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, okay. And it's going to have the same, like, architectural style, obviously, all the way through, which is what I'm kind of working on right now. And it needs to be tall enough for me to be able to get through with the horses and... Uh, not have to hit my head on anything, ideally. So while I do this and while I kind of brainstorm or whatnot, yeah, biggest news that has happened of 2020 in regard to gaming, which is not even really true. I don't know why I just said that. But Steve is in Smash Bros. And that is something that I, I did not record my reaction to it. You know, a lot, a lot of people like to record reactions. So, oh, see what happens and blah, blah, blah. I did not do that. Because normally, with Super Smash Brothers downloadable characters that appear, uh, they are anime characters that I don't care about. Or characters that I'm just not passionate about, and I, I feel no need to uh, really record it, ever, you know? And this one, nothing inspired me to want to record it or anything. There was no leaks or information or anything, nothing to infer that this was actually going to happen. And I have been saying for years that Steve and Minecraft specifically deserve a presence in Super Smash Brothers more so than a lot of other video game franchises that exist out there ever, right? So Minecraft, in case you don't know, uh, is the number one best-selling game of all time. 200 million copies of this game have existed and been played which is absolutely bonkers and is larger than any other, uh, you know, video game that has existed out there. The only thing that comes close is Grand Theft Auto V, which is not family friendly. So I haven't played it on video. I have played it in general, but not, not, you know, not this. I don't really care for it that much anyways. But that is the only other game that comes relatively close. And then there's Wii Sports and Super Mario Brothers and all that. So it's the most popular game of all time. And it, it, not that Super Smash Brothers is all about that necessarily, uh, because it isn't. It's about what characters would play well in the roster, what moveset would be most satisfying for those characters. There's a lot of different factors that go into 
a, a character being picked for Super Smash Brothers, and even with all that factored in, I think Steve deserves to be in there. And I knew for a fact that they would not only do just Steve, but they would do Steve and Alex more specifically. Uh, because Steve and Alex, as much as you may think, you know, the guy who has the blue shirt and the purple pants from Minecraft is the only representative, he's not. Alex is just as synonymous with Minecraft as Steve and absolutely deserves a spot in the roster. And they actually ended up adding the Zombie and Enderman as alternate skins, as well as alternate uh, outfits and skin tones for Steve and Alex, which makes it even better that they're added into the game. Have all different sorts of outfits for all the different representation that could be in the game, so it's awesome. Um, and their moveset is really interesting. And the way that it works with Steve and Alex in Smash Brothers is that they actually went back and had to redo every single stage the way they work mechanically because you actually do mine things from each of the different battlefields in Smash Brothers. So it's not like you just get a bunch of materials or you're just using an iron sword and calling it a day. You're actually hitting parts of the stage with your pickaxe, with your axe or whatever else to gain those things to use in battle. So the more that you mine, you can get, you know, enough uh, redstone and uh, I think gunpowder to get TNT. You can get different blocks that allow you to block enemies and travel amongst the entire level. Like the level of detail that has gone into this character is absolutely amazing. And it's unlike anything they've ever done before in, in Smash Brothers. And it just proves how, how awesome it is to see things like this come to fruition and people really appreciate what Smash Brothers is and what it means for gaming and, and the representation of Minecraft in general. Like, I don't know, I mean, a, a lot of you probably understand this because you may be from a younger generation, but a lot of people my age, you know, may be like, well, Minecraft isn't that important, it isn't that whatever, but there is an entire generation of kids, and, and my generation included, the late millennial slash Gen Z? Gen X? I don't know. I forget where I'm at. Uh, one of those. But that entire generation is also inspired by what Minecraft is and what Minecraft has done for gaming, you know? So all of that factored in, it totally makes sense for Minecraft to have representation in Smash Brothers. And it's, it's just fun to play with, too, you know? It's not like it's just a, a cheap cop-out or anything like that. It is genuinely very, very fun and very awesome to play. And I'm so, so excited to play as uh, Steve or Alex or the zombie or Enderman or whoever else in Smash Brothers. It totally changes the game and is, uh, like, amazing. I think it's just amazing. And hopefully if you have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, you get the DLC. You can get to play that for yourself as well because, man, it's just, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good and just, just f like, fun. Like, that's the thing about uh, Minecraft and Smash Brothers when you're not thinking, like, competitively. The games are just fun. Man, they're just really, really fun games. And they, they work really well. And the more wacky, crazy mechanics you have in the game, in my opinion, the better. And it just adds that much more spice to the entire, you know, formula of what it is. So I'm, I'm super excited. And that comes out on October 13th, which is 10 days from now. And they also uh, low-key tied that into Minecraft Earth, which also happened today. Uh, I guess I like this, right? I guess that's fine. Sure. Um, where they announced a bunch of new things there as well. Uh, one of those things being, actually a couple of those things, being new mobs have been added or will be added into the game. One of them is uh, goats are being added to uh, Minecraft. That is off-center. Yep, that is off-center. Oh, because it's four, right? Uh, it has to be five wide, right? Yeah, it has to be five wide. No, it doesn't. Wait. What did I mess up? There's four. Yep, so this needs... Ah, that needs to be eliminated. Yeah, there we go. Now it's center. Hey, look at that. Look at that. I'm such a professional. Um, so they announced goats. They also ana uh, an an added... Can I speak English ever? They also added the mob called an ax axolotl. A-X-O-A-T-A-L. It's basically like... Uh, you know the Pokemon Whooper? 
where it's a blue thing with, with like these antennas coming out the side there. It's kind of what that is. What, what that Pokemon is based off of, the actual animal of that, that's, that's it. So, yeah, that is actually coming to Minecraft. Uh, and they had a vote between uh, three different types of mobs to be added into the game to see what would actually be added. Um, and this cobblestone, I'm not going to keep this for the roof. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to just cover it all for now and then go back and change it afterward. But whatever. Just to get the point across here and cover it up. Uh, so, they had a choice between three different things that people could vote on. And I guess the voting already ended, which is weird, but okay. Um, it's been less than like six hours since that event ended and it's already like, hey, this is happening. All right, bye. But they had a choice between the ISO logger, the, uh, it's like a bee cow thing and a glow squid and glow squid ended up winning so glow squid is going to be the brand new mob added into minecraft which is interesting and i'm hoping that it actually changes something involving the gameplay of minecraft like i don't want just a mob that just does nothing i would prefer there to be is that off center no it's centered yeah because the stairs are it, it's centered all right whatever um i would love for there to be something that like changed up the gameplay in some way you know like that to me is what minecraft is all about it's going to be how can all these different mobs and different situations factor in to make it that much more interesting so i hope the glow squid actually does something instead of just existing and, and doing nothing but but who knows so uh, my plan for right now with this is i'm going to add the horses into here I'm also going to add hay, like right, like into here, so that way they can like, you know, access the hay, and it can be just an aesthetic thing, really. There's not really a point to having hay here, but whatever. Uh, I'm also going to add it into the corners here, basically kind of like I did before with um, the barn in there, that sort of a vibe. So I'm also going to add it like over here, just for aesthetic purposes, like I said before. There we go, just like that. Um... This whole area over here, I don't like it being blank, but I also don't know what I should do. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what I come up with, if anything, to add over there. I kind of like that aesthetic better. Um, I could add another window over here. Uh, I'm definitely going to use some bone meal right over here. Let's go with bone meal. That way I can actually, you know, use this on the ground here, get some foliage. Rock and roll in here. You can't use it on this, which I do want this to be dirt. The fact that this is dirt is fine. I, uh, I don't mind it at all. Uh, what I'm also going to do is have uh, a few chests in here. That way I can load up on some uh, hay. So the extra, you know, wheat and hay and seeds can all go in here. That way I can feed the, um, the horses and whatnot. And there should probably... There, there isn't an... I really wish there was an armor stand for horse armor because then the horse armor could go like all along here and be on display if they weren't being equipped with the horses themselves. So hopefully something like that can happen in the future. Uh, I'm going to make just some random design right here. I guess it's kind of like a creeper face low key, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going with this design here because this is supposed to be a barn. It's supposed to be more of a natural sort of vibe here. I'm going to go with uh, this right over here, just just because, you know, this will probably change. Uh, last time I tried to turn it into the initials of D'Angelo with the D and A, I don't, uh, it, it wasn't really working out too well. So I just decided to do that for now, just to get some more light inside of here. So what I'm going to do is pop into uh, survival mode for a change. Go figure, right? And I'm going to take each of the horses from out of here into where I need them to be inside of the barn and that way they can exist in there and it's going to be all hunky-dory so uh Mr. um Mr. Donkey I'm going to bring you over here and that way when I do eventually get to llama and whatnot it's going to be just fine uh I did not mean to do that whoops uh let me get this out of the way I guess I'll store that in there that's fine and like obviously having you know not enough height clearance there is not ideal so let me just hop over the fence and then boop there's one so there is no way for them to get out right there's there's a two gap uh, uh or you know two blocks here where they cannot get out 
Could they get out over here? If you jump on this and then you jump over here? Yeah, you totally could. Okay, cool. Well, actually, not cool. Uh, don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is back this up by one. That way there's no chance that they can get out. Because as much as I believe in freedom for horses and everything like that, I do not want them to escape. And you got to factor in, in case there's any situation where they can, like, jump and potentially escape, it's not going to be a good time, right? So there's that. Boom. Done. And then, yeah, any extra hay and anything else like that, I'm going to toss into those two chests over there, and it's going to be just fine. And that way I can actually have the, the horses and the donkeys separate from all these other animals. That way they're not... They're, they're more easily accessible here. So, faux D'Angelo. I'm going to have to come over here with me, buddy. So, I have a faux D'Angelo, which I don't even remember what I named this D'Angelo way back when, but I'm going to go with faux D'Angelo anyways. Um, there's also the other mule, and I believe that's it. So, in a future episode, whether that be, like, you know, soon or uh, whenever, uh, I'm going to aim to get some, uh, some llama. And Llama can be led into here. I don't believe they can be ridden. I don't think so. And I think I know of a region relatively close-ish by where I can find me some, uh, some Llama. So we'll see. I think that's going to be part of what I do with the maps. Because I'm going to want to fill in the maps as well. So I'll take one of them with me, go on a grand expedition, and see what happens from there. Let me just jump over here. There we go. All right. So there's these three. They're chilling in here. Uh, they have plenty of hay to munch on indoors or outdoors. That way, you know, in case any shenanigans happens, it's going to be just fine. Um, and, yeah, what I'm going to do real quick is get some torches. And then I'm going to light up the area. And then I'm basically going to call it a day here. So bam and bam. And let's go with one over here. Uh, we'll put this one over here. Sure. Why not? And uh, I'll put one right here and one over. Oh, uh, we'll put one over here. Yeah, there we go. Make sure this is properly lit. That way no mobs can spawn in. And that way I have a nice grand entrance over toward this way. Bada bang, bada boom. What I'm going to do off camera is make this not look super ugly. Probably do a roof similar to this, but that's going to be kind of a boring part. And I'm just going to. Oh, what, what are you doing in here? How did you even spawn in how did this even happen like okay i guess there's still some probability that there's going to be some uh spiders spawning in here i don't know whatever i'll uh, i'll figure out how to get rid of them eventually i guess i'm gonna light the whole thing up though i mean this should be fine a keyword should be i don't know if it actually will be but whatever so that's a barn I like the way it came out. I'm going to edit the roof off camera and see you again for more Minecraft in the very near future. Barn looking pretty hot right now. Big uh, duplex looking section this whole thing is here. I like it. And I'll see you again next time for more Minecraft. Hang in there. Keep being yourself. And hopefully the world treats you well. All right? Bye.